Hey guys, this is Post Production Pi with SRLounge.com, and in this Lightroom 4 preset system mixology tutorial, we're going to be going over the standard black and white soft portrait preset and show you guys exactly which situations we use this preset, kind of how it works, as well as how we created it using the preset system. All right, so once again, this is a soft portrait preset, which means that it's designed for portrait images, for images that have people in them. Uh, so if we compare this, we have the standard black and white compared to the vivid version of the standard black and white right here, which I'm actually going to rename right now to BMW, just so it's consistent in the naming. I just caught that right now. All right. So you can see the difference in the amount of detail. So the standard black and white with, with the soft portrait effect has a much lighter and more flattering look with people in there. Um, now again, there's going to be some people that do like that vivid look, but this is the typical look that we use in our studio for our black and white settings. And this is really the go-to black and white setting because it works so much better than the standard black and white conversion. If I reset this and show you guys the standard black and white conversion, it's this. Now let's compare that to this. All right, so it looks that much better, guys. This is the one you guys want to use for all of your portraits that you want to turn to black and white. Now let's show you guys a few different images, kind of the before and afters of how it works. Let's go to this image as well. This is another image that would work really well on. Let's select the standard black and white. And again, let's compare that to the vivid version of that black and white. So you can see how much detail there is. And again, if you're doing a lot of retouching, then the vivid might be the one that you want to go with because it does kind of enhance all the other details. It's just going to create a lot of retouching work for you. So here's the standard black and white. I really like that look a lot. Let's go and check out a few other images that this might work really well on. Let's go and select our bride right here. Uh, we're going to flip this to our develop modules, select the standard black and white, and again we get a nice beautiful soft tone with that. Let's go and do her fiance as well. Let's see how that looks also. All right, guys, so it gives us a really nice look, especially when compared to any other, you know, including the standard uh, black and white conversion in Lightroom. This gives us such a nice look to our portraits. So I'd highly recommend you guys use this for all your portraits. And let's go through now and figure out exactly how we did this with the Lightroom preset system. And I think you guys will love it because it's only a few clicks uh, to get this effect. Um, for this image, you know, again, with all these images, you still want to adjust the exposure, um, your contrast levels, depending on each image. We base these mixologies off of a standard uh, properly exposed image so we have kind of a standard look for with every single one of them. All right so let's go back to actually let's go back to the first image because this is probably the best image to work on. Let's reset this and again we always start with our standard import preset so we're going to have that selected and we're going to go through and make our adjustments now. So opening up the base adjustments folder this is actually a very similar process to the other uh, soft portrait presets. Uh, we're going to do basically the portrait flatten we're going to do a light skin soften. Uh, we're going to do a light contrast boost because we want to, basically when you convert to black and white, you do need a little bit extra contrast. So we're going to do a light boost. Um, with blacks, we'll keep them actually where they're at. Um, and then with saturation, we're not going to touch. Then with noise, again, we're going to do the same light. We're going to close this up now, and we're going to go down to our antique curves because we want a black and white curve. We're going down to the neutral punches and select black and white, and that is it, guys. So from here, you're just going to save this out as your new Mixology preset. Once again, the settings are no white balance selected, uh, no lens profile corrections, transform, and chromatic aberration. All these are these four deselected. Everything else is selected with the exception of your auto settings. You're going to put this into your My Mixology, and you're going to name it however you like. Again, we don't need to do that because if you have the 1.1 update, it's already saved as the standard black and white. And if we select this, we'll have the exact same look right there. All right, guys, so that's the standard black and white soft portrait preset, how it works, and how we created it. We hope you guys enjoyed, and we'll see you guys with the next tutorial.